Hey, what's going on? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics, and today we're going to be talking about spatial resolution. In this short video series, we're going to be talking about different image quality parameters and the one that we're going to be covering in this video is going to be spatial resolution. Spatial resolution is just a metric that describes the level of detail uh, that we can see in an image. Or thought of in another way, it's the measure of the smallest object that can be resolved by the imaging system. There are several different factors that can affect spatial resolution on our imaging system. For example, in X-ray, uh, the focal spot size can change the resolution of the imaging system. Things like the detector size or pixel size or matrix size can also change the spatial resolution of a system. As well as some of the, of the reconstruction algorithms, those can also impact our resolution. When we perform physics evaluations or testing of the imaging system, we can measure the limiting resolution of the system. We usually use things like line pairs per millimeter or the MTF or full width half max. Those are all metrics that we use in our evaluations of the system to actually measure the resolution of the imaging system. In the example we have here, we're looking at the resolution uh, uh, pattern in a CT uh, phantom. So we're looking at how well the system can uh, display detail in the image and we can see in the image on the left where we're using a standard filter we can actually see the this is number four five six seven so we can actually see down to the seven line pair uh, target whereas it, whenever we apply the bone filter we can see uh, not only the seven we can also see the eight nine and ten line pair patterns. So you can see in, in this image how applying a different filter can change the resolution of the system. Here we show a nondescript object and how an object may appear with poor or limited spatial resolution all the way up to very defined edges where we can really uh, pick that ob object out and see all of the borders and the fine detail within the object. And in this last example, we can see how the effects of matrix size or pixel size also have on resolution. So when we have very large pixels or, or low matrix, we, it's very difficult to discern what the, the image actually is or what the objects are within the image. And as we increase the matrix size, or which is also the equivalent of decreasing the pixel size, we get more and more detail in the image where we can start to really see the detail um, that's in the image. So there you have it, that's spatial resolution. Stay tuned for next week where we're gonna talk about the next image quality parameter, noise.